Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Today we're talking about the three best ways to reinvest your tax return back into your business. So if you don't wanna waste your tax return and you wanna use it instead to propel your business forward, or if you wanna learn my top three things you should be thinking about as you cash those tax return checks, keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. Yeah, you better step into the light. Just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you with your travel businesses, and I don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, type a little I'm new below so I can welcome you to our community. You might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm the CEO of Wanderlust Campus, formerly known as Careers on Vacation. We are the number one educators in the travel industry, helping people just like you learn how to launch, grow, and scale your travel businesses all over the world. And today, guys, we are talking about tax returns. What do you do with that check? Do you go buy a boat? Do you go buy a car? Do you buy that purse or that, or that pair of shoes you've been looking at? You could, and that's so much fun. <laughs> I get the appeal. But once you buy that thing, it's just a thing that's going to sit somewhere in your closet or in your garage. Maybe it's the best thing ever. But I want to challenge you to think a little bit like an entrepreneur and a business owner on, is there a better way I can reinvest my tax return into myself, into my business, where it will then propel my business forward so I have even more profits and more cash coming in over the long term. And then you can buy all the boats and cars and shoes and purses that you want. So I thought this would be a fun topic for tax return season. So let's jump into first things first. We actually have this really great document in our Careers on Vacation program called Levels of Investment. I'm not going to share that today because it's inside our uh, program for our students. But what I want to talk about is one of the ways we coach our students and clients is once you're making this much money, do this. Once you're making this much money, do this. And it really helps them go. I don't have to overspend here and I can, but here's what I should invest in as soon as I get a certain amount of trips or if I get that tax return or when I have more income and resources, what would be the next thing that Cindy recommends in terms of what I invest in? So I'm going to actually share some of those things with you today so you guys can get a feel for those. And I also want to tell you guys, I have this free resource for you. This is not about tax returns, but I put together our top 10 videos that are the most watched on YouTube. Do you guys want to get a copy of this list so you don't, I know it's getting hard on YouTube. You guys send me messages like, Cindy, which video should I watch first? Listen, do our masterclass first. I'll link that down below if you're thinking about getting into the industry. But if you're already in the industry, I put these together in a nice little uh, easy brochure. So you can go to wanderlustceo.com slash spring and I will send that to your inbox. It'll be a piece of cake. That way you don't have to go through hundreds of videos and you can get some more uh, top tier content in a more structured way. But let's talk about the top three things that I would be thinking about if I was a newer agent or I'm in kind of that period where I'm trying to grow my business a little bit more. Maybe you're in that first couple years of having your own travel business. What are the things that you should think about investing in next? You have a, hopefully a nice little tax return coming back. What am I going to use that towards if I want to invest it in my business? So the first thing that I want you to think about is marketing, duh. Like <laughs> if you don't already know the marketing formula, if you do more marketing, it makes more leads, which then if you, as long as you can close decently, it's going to make more money, right? So if you have a strong marketing plan, you already know how to market, you're a strategic marketer, go ahead and fund your marketing budgets a little bit stronger so you can have more leads, which equal more conversions, which equal more money. Another thing you can do in the marketing world, if you struggle with marketing a little bit or you're a first time marketer, or even for those of you who aren't first time, but you just need to save some time on marketing, a tiny investment you can make is in Wanderlust Social, right? Are you guys familiar with Wanderlust Social? You can visit wanderlust-social.com. They do, this is our sister company, they do done for you, but customizable travel marketing bundles. So bundles of travel content that you can then slap your logo on as if you spent hours and hours and hours creating it, 
for all different destinations, for all different seasons, for different topics, like how to position yourself as a travel agent, all those different things. And in every single bundle is not just pictures and captions, but actual things you can use in your service and in your sales funnels as well. We have more videos on Wanderlust Social, but definitely that will be a tiny investment that would up-level your marketing straight away without even having to pad into paid marketing. So, but paid marketing is my next one. We're gonna talk about that too. If you know how to market on Facebook, on Meta, on Google, on Pinterest, on YouTube, right? There's a lot of paid marketing channels that work really effectively in the world today. This is one of the things we train and teach on and we teach our students how to create like a multifaceted marketing plan. If you already know how to do that stuff, then you should be loading some dollars into your paid marketing accounts, right? If you, as long as you're feeling comfortable with the stats that you're getting, you've kind of gone through that process. Now, this one kind of assumes that you know how to put a marketing plan together, you're methodical and strategic about it, and you've already been through kind of a testing period, or maybe you haven't been through a testing period. It's okay to, to spend some dollars on testing as long as you know what you're doing. You want to get in there and you want to test for 60 to 90 days, but the minute you know every time I put a dollar into Google, it's going to give me three back. Hello, that's a great way to spend your money. Those are one of the things that we train on at Careers on Vacation. So if you know how to do paid advertising, think about using that, up those marketing budgets, especially we're going into second quarter. We're in second quarter now, right? That means wave season is over. If you're gonna have the same level of business that you had during wave season or higher, or you want to uh, streamline your cash flow all year long so you don't have that huge dip after first quarter, you have to market. So think about spending some of that money in marketing. That's just way one. I know that was like three things for one, but I want to give you a lot of value in today's, today's session today. All right. Second one is do a tech assessment in your business. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh, Cindy, I hate tech. I used to hate tech until I figured out it's going to save me so much time in my life and it's going to make me so much more money. So tech is such a smart way to think about. And I know you've been busy. I know you're coming right out of busy season and you're like, oh my gosh, all the things, right? But let me break it down for you on things I want you to look at first. Look at your automations. Do Have you automated your business? Have you automated your core functions? Is your marketing process automated? Is your sales process automated? Is your service process automated? Automating those things in your business will make a huge different difference, not just in the time that you save so you have more time to work on important things or be with your family or travel, but it also will help you make more money because anytime you can do something faster, that allows you to just exponentially kind of dial up or pull the lever, lever on your growth or your ability to make conversions in your business. So automation is a really big one to look at. And just do an assessment, like what, you know where your gaps are. So <laughs> look at it and go, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I need to fix this part. You gotta get real with yourself before you can actually fix it. But do an assessment first and then figure out where you can invest to fix those things in your business. Another great one that I love is one of our um, partners, Travify. So um, tra we're educational partners for Travify. If you don't know what Travify is, it's an itinerary planning service for travel agents. So it's kind of like an app that you can give your, it, not kind of, it actually is an app you can give your clients where you load up itineraries, you can load up proposals, you can do all kinds of fun stuff on Travify. We train that within our programs as well because we feel like it's a great tool and I will link their information down below as well. That's another great one to check out for uh, your future use. All right, number three, training. We've talked about a lot of stuff today. Maybe some of it you know how to do, some of it you don't know how to do, but that's where training comes in. The number three, but probably the most important is if you do not have core basics or foundational information or know how to do some of these things in your business, you got to learn. We got to stretch those learning skills a little bit further. So figure out what's broken in your operation today. Maybe you're afraid to invest in paid marketing because I know you don't want to waste your tax refund and throw it away on a marketing thing that you think will work or you saw it on a feed somewhere. You want to know what is actually going to work if I'm going to put my, my marketing dollars, if I'm going to put dollars in my marketing budget, right? So 
If you don't know that, you got to get those answers first. Learning how to be a good marketer in this industry is just as much your job as it is to be a great travel agent. I always say travel agents in this day and age have two hats to wear. You have to be an amazing travel agent and you need to know how to show up in the online marketplace, be relevant and be able to convert sales, do the marketing, do the whole process, right? So sometimes people struggle with that second tier because you've never had a business before. You never had to have a marketing department. You never had to, not to say you have to have a whole department. You can totally do it yourself. But the point is you have to learn those skills before you're good at it. And what I don't want you to do is throw a bunch of money at paid advertising if you don't know what you're doing. So get that foundational training first, absolutely first. And look, if it's with careers on vacation, fantastic. We're going to teach you how to do all of that stuff. If it's with someone else who resonates with you, that's fantastic too, but get the help. So you don't waste dollars on tech or marketing. You make sure you're using those dollars really wisely. And then also on the tech side, we talked about that. Maybe you don't know which tech solutions are right for you. We actually have a tech advisor inside our programs to help everyone we work with. Cause we don't do cookie coder, cutter kind of businesses. All of our clients are doing something a little bit different. Some of them host with different people. Some of them are independent. We have a tech advisor that knows this is the best path. Here's the systems and processes we would put in place based on your level of investment or based on what you want to do in terms of your vision or your goals for your business. And we map that technical journey out for you to help you as you are growing. So whether you're brand new or whether you've been doing this for, we have clients who've done it for 20, 30 years that come to us for that operational help because getting those ducks in a row, getting those puzzle pieces all put together. I get it. It's so much that's out there guys. And there's a lot coming at you at once. So get that training first. And I want to encourage you to go over and check out careers on vacation. That is our most popular program. If you've been waiting or you know that careers on vacation is the thing for you, that would be a really smart way to get started. So you can learn all of this good stuff. I'm going to show you what Wanderlust campus looks like. And careers on vacation is of course our most popular program. And that is an inside peek at what our modules look like, our training calendar. Every single week you get to come to training with me and then my experts, all of my team is amazing. That's the difference in our program is you work with real people. That's why we have the results that we do. We're approaching 250 video case studies, which blows my mind with the most case studies in the industry. We won five Magellan awards this year and, uh, we love what we do and we have a lot of fun. That's the other thing. We're not a boring class that you're going to be in. We're making a lot of fun. So go visit us at careersonvacation.com. Um, or you can go to careersonvacation.com slash ready now. If you want to apply or get on the wait list for the next available class, we encourage you to do that. But guys, I hope this was so helpful for you today. I also want to say Thank you for all of your comments over on Instagram. As you guys know, we have been uh, doing so much over on Instagram, sh showing you how we're converting the Wanderlust Lodge, where we're going to have live workshops and things like that going on. So go follow us over there too. We'd love to interact with you and you can see the behind the scenes of what it's like to be uh, inside Cruise on Vacation and our other programs that we run and kind of see what we're doing and also why we're traveling because we do have some really cool travel coming up too. But I'll see you guys next week. Have a fantastic week wherever you are. I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. Bye guys. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here, click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.